Okay, this is a tutorial on motion tracking in Apple's Motion. And what we're going to do is we're going to look at the behavior of Analyze Motion and Match Move. So since we have this video selected, well first let me tell you what we're going to do. Uh, we're going to add this thought bubble on top of the baby and we want it to track the baby's forehead over this DV video and as you can see we have a cut in the video and a very shaky camera very old footage and we have another cut coming up right there so we got three cuts in this short little clip so what you want to do is you want to put the playhead at the very first frame click on the video that we're gonna apply behavior to motion tracking and analyze motion and it defaults to the behaviors tab and the little yellow crosshair in the middle is the tracker so when you click on it you get a exploded view of the video and what we want to do is we want to find the baby's forehead so there's the baby's eyes and we want to put the thought bubble about right there we're going to track his forehead right there now over in the tracker we have some more parameters and it defaults to smart retry um, but what we're going to do is hit analyze and if the tracking goes crazy, get ready to hit the escape button or you could click on stop, but escape is a lot quicker. So we're going to hit analyze and watch how this thing goes. And it's tracking the forehead. There it goes. It puts a dot for every frame, the positioning data. Doing a great job of tracking. Oh, stop. Hit escape. Okay, so it got off because there was a cut in the video. But what we can do is we can reapply the uh, analyze behavior uh, to the same filter on the same clip. So we're going to left arrow, right arrow, and that's where we get off. And you can see a dot. That's the keyframe dot. So we're going to drag this over to the forehead. We're going to put it about right there. And what we're going to do is we're going to put the tracker right on top of the dot. And then we're going to resume analyze from this point of the video on. So we click and it's going to overwrite the data that we had just done. So it's going to follow that point. Get ready to hit the escape button if it goes crazy, but it's doing a pretty good job of staying right on target. It's going frame by frame. And if things get really crazy, you can go in and edit each frame, uh, frame by frame. It's doing a great job of tracking. There's going to be another cut in the video. Okay, stop. You hit escape. So what we can do right here is go back left arrow a frame at a time. And this is how you would do things manually if it got, gets off. You click on the little white dot for this frame. And we're going to drag it down and we're going to say we're going to put that right there. Go to the next frame, go to the white dot. And you can drag it down. And you can do it frame by frame. Or we can click on the uh, tracker and put that right on top. And once again, we can resume, analyze, and track it from here. Again, it's doing a great job of tracking. Now, this baby's going to get dragged out of frame here, so you would have to do things manually at that point. There's no way um, to track when the baby's out of frame. Like even right here, we're going to stop it. We get the red X. That means that there was an error, and it got off the track. So we're going to go back a couple of frames and see right about here the little head the little girl's head is on top so it can't find where to go so we just drag it go to the next frame take the white dot drag it back advance a frame go to the white dot on that frame drag it back next frame drag it back this can be a little bit tedious but there's really no other way to do it because the uh, this footage is very old it's DV it's very compressed and it's very blurry and there is no uh, great region of contrast. The head is very kind of a, a, a bland beige color and it's hard to f keep uh, the track. But what you'd want to do is find a tracking point. If you get really good clean video, 
of high contrast and then it would uh, have a much better success rate of tracking uh, the source video. So this is just a little bit of doing it frame by frame but for the most part 99% of it was done in a really great uh, way by the by the tracking software so uh, let's just call it a day for right here we're gonna go back to the very beginning of the video and we're gonna turn on the thought bubble and we're gonna say you just place the thought bubble now we're gonna apply another filter to the thought bubble so we go up to add behavior motion tracking we're gonna add the match move and it defaults to showing you the parameters of that filter and you can see how the uh, the source well is showing the video and what we want to do is we want to click on the analyze motion and match move is going to match the move of the analyze motion filter all these keyframe dots in here um, it's already been done once so we're gonna apply it to the thought bubble so now when we scroll the thought bubble follows the baby because the analyzed motion and it's great when you cut on the video goes right with the cut so let's just play it real time from the beginning I think that's pretty cool and there's your tutorial there's gonna be another cut in the video there it is so there's your tutorial hope you liked it